My name is Dwan Kelsey and I'm a nurse practitioner with Well Life, a diabetes clinic and educational resource center located in Raleigh, North Carolina. And we want to talk today about how to stop diabetic foot pain. A person that's had an elevated blood sugar that's consistently elevated will develop a complication called peripheral neuropathy. Um, because of the effects that the high blood sugar has on the blood ves vessels. And so they develop a, a condition called peripheral neuropathy, which actually leads to the foot pain, what people associate as the foot pain. Um, patients will often describe this pain as a burning sensation, as a tingling in my feet. You know, when I walk, it feels like I'm, I'm walking on needles, um, things like that. Uh, one way, one important way to decrease that pain is to get the blood sugars down as much as possible. Um, we talk about a number that's called a hemoglobin A1C, which is a test that we get every three months. We would like for that test to be less than 6.5. So when you have a hemoglobin A1C of 8.4 or even 9 and above, that increases the risk of complications like peripheral neuropathy. So the goal is to bring the blood sugar down, which is going to ultimately bring the hemoglobin A1C less than 6.5. That's where we would like for it to be. But treatment-wise of foot pain after you've brought the blood sugar to, to a normal blood sugar, we have a lot of drugs that are out there. Neurontin is one, Lyrica is another one to help to to decrease the painful sensation that the patients will, um, will experience. There's a lot of other things that you can do, treatment modalities that are out there um, for patients, but mo more than likely providers are going to start them off on medications. Diabetes is a very complex disease. This has just been basic information regarding diabetes. Please be sure to visit your medical provider for more information or for diagnosis of diabetes.